Hey, what's up, guys? I'm ready here. Uh, just getting some final things ready for trapping season here. I think I'm gonna do a little video series on uh, like getting back to the basics, just coon trapping, and showing you guys, you know, just just a basic coon setup with DPS. Um, that's what I started with. Very first traps I ever set was DPS for coons. Um, so. For the first part of the uh, series, I'm going to show you guys uh, a, a bait that I use other than cat food. Like I use cat food, just cheap cat food 90% of the time. I'm going to try some different DP baits this year just to see how they work. But uh, this is another bait that I've been using for a few years. Um, so what you need to get is some, some kind of a feed. Um, we had lambs this year at the farm, and I got some of this all-stock multi-purpose feed left over, so that's what I'm going to use this year. Normally, I would use, uh, I think it was called like a Sweet 16 feed. Um, anything with some like molasses in it to make it sweet, and this has the molasses in it. And uh, you should be able to get it like any farming supply store, tractor supplies, farmer fleets that we got around here. But uh, just... All stock, multi-purpose feed. Um, I found the stuff with the grain, the corn and the oats in it works better than just the pelleted feed. Just, that's just what I found. First year I used, I put corn in the pelleted feed and that worked better than last year. It was just pellets, that's what we had. So um, this year, like I said, we had lambs, so we fed them this textured grain mix. So we'll see how that works out. But, so I just give me a scoop of that in a coffee can. Um, so this is kind of the what the mix looks like here. Like I said, it's got corn and some oats in there and then the pelleted feed and then it's got like molasses on it. So get you a good scoop of that. I don't fill it up all the way. It's filled up to about right there. And then a uh, packet of cherry Kool-Aid. Throw that in there. Put your lid on. Give it a good shake. And then your bait's ready to go. Oh man, it smells good. But, uh, so I like to use this mix when I'm trapping uh, like farmsteads where they got cats because you will catch cats in DPs when you put cat food in it. You will not catch cats with this feed. Um, for nuisance coons around my place, this is what I use because we got a lot, of, we got a lot of farm cats running around. Um, yeah, so this stuff works really good and it holds that cherry flavor because, like I said, it's got that um, like molasses on it, so it's it's not sticky. I don't like using uh, sticky sticky baits in my DPS. I just I've never cared for it. I will, uh, like I said, this year I'm gonna try that Dunlap's uh, Firefly. So I'll put a little bit of that around the rim, or I might stick a marshmallow on the top and put some of that on the marshmallow. But uh, yeah, so cat food. If I'm not using cat food, which I will, I always use cat food, in, you know, in the timbers and and out of the way from farms, but around farms where they have cats, this is what I'll use. Or uh, like I said, this year I got a couple of uh, um, uh, lure made or lure maker made uh, DP baits, one from Dunlap and one from No BS Lures. So I will try those too and see how they work compared to cat food. But uh, for just getting, getting out there guys, go get you a bag of cheap cat food some marshmallows, you know, sometimes I'll stick a big marshmallow on the top of the DP, but uh, um, like I said, just a quick little uh, bait making video and we'll do some more uh, basic uh, DP coon sets here real soon, but uh, yeah, so uh, take care guys and we'll see you on the line.